Hey folks, I've been wanting to make a Jeremy video for a very long time, uh, as many of us are enthralled with Jeremy and of course Jen, and, and, and this video is directed more at Jen because I have a lot of questions uh, for her. I, I've been watching her, so I dated a police impersonator videos, and you know, in many of them, she belittles people like us, the public, for having interest in Jeremy um, and her, um, but she has to realize that they're a train wreck. The two of you are a train wreck. So people can't look away from a train wreck. And, you know, reality TV makes a lot of money. And you two, if I didn't know better, I would think this would have to be scripted because how could somebody be accused of rape and then put their accuser in charge of their business? So, you know, Jen, I, I have to ask you about that rape allegation. And then I would like to ask you about the rape allegation of the maintenance worker who, thank God, had told his bosses about you already. And, you know, you left those notes, you know, on his windshield. I want to blank your blank one last time. Please blank me one more time. And then you accuse the guy of rape. Um, you know, your grandmother, you, you getting your grandmother institutionalized so you could steal her house. You know, things like this. These are the things people want to hear about. Um, and it's understandable because it's so insane. People are curious. These are things people are, people are curious about. Um, you know, and one of the big ones I'm curious about, which nobody ever really talks about, I don't think, and that's you met Jeremy on Ashley Madison. And one of my favorite Jeremy quotes is, I loved you so much I was willing to cheat on my wife with you. He said that to you. Um, he was on a website looking to find another married person to sleep with. Jerry would have slept with a Dalmatian if they made themselves available to him. Now, my question to you is, what were you doing on Ashley Madison? It didn't, I don't think you were married at the time. And I think you were probably on that site to find a man to extort. And Jeremy came along, who is the perfect victim, right? He's he's a offender. Um, you know, you can use his wife against him. You can use his kids against him. You can use his business against him. He's really he's really a, a, a juicy target for somebody like you. Um, and then and then somehow he, you get control of his business, and we begin to learn, you know, a lot about Jeremy's finances as you get control of his business. We we discover that. The, the, well, that business isn't really lucrative because who needs a funeral escort? I live in, you know, I work in New York City and uh, I've never seen a funeral escort except for dignitaries um, when we're trying to pay them homage and respect. I mean, here, if somebody dies and we have a funeral procession, we just follow the car in front of us. We don't need somebody to tell us to do that. We don't need the lights blocked. People know that they can't cut into a funeral procession. So, and then when you were running things for Jeremy and you didn't have any money to pay the guys, Jeremy was telling you, yeah, just take the credit card, decline a charge, get money back, get the 20 or 30 bucks you need to pay these guys. So we understand that business is not lucrative at all. And Jeremy is honestly making his money. He says to us, you guys don't know how I afford the things I have. What do you have? Jeremy, you have used garbage cars that somebody's thrown away. To you, a pair of Oakleys is, you know, a big expenditure. But to most people, it's not. So your finances are interesting. Um, Jen, the rape victim. Jeremy is a rape victim. Um, first, he told you he met her in a club, and then he explained to you how she was the f family friend. And then, but when you listen to his rape victim's interview... Jeremy would make her sit in the back seat with her hands behind her back like she was a perp, and then he would drive. So it's Jeremy's blank dream to have a perp in the back seat, and he would make his rape victim do that. So how do you reconcile that, Jen? So when you talk about that the people who are interested in this stuff are you know, 
have no lives and stuff like that. How do you reconcile it? That's what I want to see a video. I want to see a video from, so I dated a police impersonator talking about the rape allegation against the maintenance guy, how you blank the blank of a, of a patrolman in his patrol car in front of your house. I want to hear that story. I want to hear why you were on Ashley Madison. Um, um, I want to hear what you think about Jeremy's rape victim and her stories um, about how Jeremy would make her go through boot camp and sit in the back seat with her hands behind her back. Um, also, if you speak to Jeremy, could you tell him that the word is supposedly with a D and not supposedly with a B? Because Jeremy kind of, you know, is condescending and arrogant, but his grammar diction is horrific. The guy's kind of a dope. Um, so if you could just let him know that, that that really irritates me. I mean, I know it's not really a thing. I'm just trying to think um, if there's anything else I would like for you to talk about, Jen. Um, you know, chargeback, deceptions. Oh, remember that check? The guy across the street when Jeremy deposited that check. And then he told you he paid the guy back, but he hadn't. And he only has just paid the guy back. That's how the charge got dropped. Like, what do you think about that? Like, he just flat lies to you and gets caught. That's the other thing about Jeremy. Like, when you do something wrong in life, we've all done things wrong, right? Um, and when you do something wrong, you just keep your head down. You two do things wrong, and it, it's like it's like you know the best defense is a good offense. Jeremy can get caught lying ten times, and that'll just make him lie twenty five times. And this whole, well, that wasn't me, Jeremy's. That wasn't me. Jeremy talks so much that everybody on the planet knows what he sounds like. It's it's comical. That wasn't me. I know it was him because. The guy can't stop speaking. He physically can't stop speaking and he can't stop lying. Those are the two things Jeremy can't stop doing. So when he says it isn't me, it's it's comical. So Jen, please. So I dated a police impersonator. I'm ready to roll. Hey, and you have all your comments turned off on those, um, on those pages. And you and Jeremy often talk about your fans. Well, if they're really your fans, why do you turn off the comments? I think you turn off the comments because you know everybody hates both of you and you can't you can't stomach the hate. It's just too much. But if you think that people really are your fans, then turn the comments back on. All right, so uh, Josh from The Vault, amazing, amazing, amazing. That guy is so spot on. His editing is amazing. It's the best. I've spoken to him, told him about how I want to make a video like this. Um, he encouraged me to do it. I'm going to send this to him. Hopefully he can edit it and make me look not stupid, as I assume I probably do. Um, maybe he could put a picture of Jen behind me. You know, I like that good one where where she's accused somebody of rape and the cop shot. Oh, never mind, she's done that too many times. Okay, listen, I, I hope people appreciate this video. I hope it sparks some debate. I hope Jen responds. I hope Jeremy responds. I hope somebody responds because I need some answers. All right, thanks. Have a great night.